So we're here at the TU Dump Shot course, hole number one. It says 80 meters. I think it's a bit more than that, it's just behind that tree. Mr. Burns with us today, James, and Todd, and myself. Okay, Burns, just go. Oh, we're together. It's a bit far to the left. There's a mando to the left of that tree. James will go now. And that's a bit short and rolling. James with his second shot here on number one. Bit of a difficult shot around the tree. So he needs a little Anheuser to get around it. Or forehand. Uh, through my other or forehand. Bounced right under the basket. Nice. Just burned with the second shot. Just a straight approach to the basket. There it comes to this. Yeah, it's also nice to putt there. And Bird, Bird just putts in for shot number three. Nice par on the first hole. So here we are at hole number two. It's pretty much a straight shot down this little alley of trees. You might see the basket back there. It's about 90 meters, I'd say. It's James here with his first shot. Nice shot down the middle, fading off to the left a bit. Mashed potato! <laughs> With the roller! Bit high. We made it through. It's high. there enough left? That'll be a tough second shot. Bad form. Bad form. Oh, that's right. And short. And low. And low. And shit. <laughs> so a difficult second shot here for Todd. Going through the tree, oh, he kind of make it a bit short, has a chance to putt in. Trying to use my, are you filming already? Trying to use my new ruby disc for the approach. Ruby, 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 ruby! Well, it's about 30 meters. That'll work. You can put that. That's all right, skipped away a bit. Baskets kind of protected by the trees. You gotta come in low and hard. Just through this area. Where am I at, Stefan? I don't know. Somewhere up there. Stop the recording at some point too. You didn't make it. Huh? You didn't make it. I have to find my disc. James with his putt here. That's actually a birdie chance. It's a nice drive. And it's turning a bit too soon. And birdie, no, not birdie, par for James. So hole number three, I say it's 92 meters. We don't trust these, these signs too much here. It's just behind that tree you see here in the front. You might see the yellow basket in the back. Burn with the first throw here. Not sure why he's going forehand, but it's a roller. 
Grass is a bit high for a roller here. Now Todd on hole number three. He has this little beach frisbee throw he uses for driving. And this one is going right, coming back nice to the fairway. On my first shot, hit the tree. I have a short approach here, like 40 meters, I would say. Burns over here. After a fantastic drive, James has a chance to birdie here. Oh, just hit the basket. That's a tough miss. Number four, one of the least favorite ones. Let's say 110 meters. Could be about right. It's more like 115. It's a. It looks like a not so tight window here, but it's really tight if you have to fear going left into the bad bushes or right into this high tree. James with the first throw on four. He has to wait for the dog. So the dog just peed. He peed. And James is a bit afraid to do throw short now. Just move to the side a bit here. There goes the disc and it's in the tree. And now you know what I mean with the tight window. Now here we go with Todd. Don't go right, there's a person. Coming back. There you go. And he just barely missed the tree into the fairway. It's pretty good distance. It's going to turn into the. That's all right. Just on the edge. That'll be a good second shot. Job. Short. As you can see here, the course right now is badly maintained. There's high weeds everywhere. You're lucky to make it out without having burning legs all over. There's a burn going into the bush where he might find his disc. Burn likes to throw a tomahawk, so he might throw a tomahawk out of the bush here. He's getting ready for it. There comes the disc. Hey, I don't think that made it. Number five, that's about 70 meters. You have to go through this little window here, which is kind of tough in the baskets then. Back there. So you need to have a nice little hyzer, top with the first try. Got the tree. James, who aced at home a few weeks ago. That up a bit high, disc coming back. It's short, but it's still a birdie chance. Three, and if you hit it, you might end up right behind it. So that would be a tough shot going to the basket. Here with the second shot on hole number five. Good approach, just next to the basket. Well, that's burnt. With his approach on number five. Change in the disc, not feeling secure about the wide mid range bus. Now we turn to James, who's putting for a birdie here. Well, number six, 88 meters, they say. It's behind that tree, so the best thing is to go with a little hyzer shot to the right and just have it drop behind it. That's going first. Whoa, oh, he's man, going man. right. Mashed potato. So he's burned. Hole oh, number six, ah, going up on. a bit, and it's going to be in the bush to the left. Knock it out, Stefan. It's gonna be all right. You can putt from there. All aboard. Good short. So you can see Burns back. 
it's somewhere in there. It's really nasty and thick. So you might need two to get out of this. So my shot ended up a bit short of the tree. Still got a chance to go around here a little hyzer putt. James actually skipped past the basket. Now we turn to Burns who's gone out of the bush. That's a shot into the tree. James now. Chance for birdie. Hole number six. And he makes it. Nice. I got a four. Oh. I thought I was going to lose a stroke on the on the competitors, on the, on the field, but I didn't. Well, to you I did, but... Okay, hole number seven. That's the longest hole in course. They say it's 120 meters, but it's quite far, so we guess it's a bit more, like 20, 25 meters longer. It's actually a straight shot. Just have to watch out to not lose your disc anywhere in this shit. So James <laughs> trying to throw a good drive to start up a birdie here. Concentrating. Now then this fly. That's a nice throw. And he Not missed the he missed the Brennes on this time. Now it's Mr. Burnt. He's a bit afraid of the bush right now. Let's see where it's going. Ooh, that's going up. And comes down again. Short drive. Mashed potatoes, Stefan. <laughs> Fairway. Beautiful. Batman sounds over here. You're killing it. So thank God this is part four because I forward all the other holes so far. Beside number one. Tough game when you suck. How long did you say it was? It's I said it's like 140 meters exactly. probably. Listed at 120, but somebody can't measure. So here goes Burn for the Throw number two. Still a good way to the basket. Flat throw. Didn't quite make it to the fairway. We'll st still need another approach shot. And here comes Todd. James is distracting a bit, I think, just to, you know, get his score up. And that's going right. Also a bit too short. James was shot number two. Everybody else left the, short, the second shot short. It's a nice approach. Going left a bit into the bush. Third shot for Burnt. Leaving it right. The second shot ended here. It's still a good 20 meters to the basket. Let's see if we can get that. That was a bit long. Not too bad of shot. Here comes Mr. Todd. Putting, not even that high and short. James for birdie. Out of the thorns. Oh. Wobbling it against the basket. It will be a par. Number eight. It's not that long. 70, 80 meters. But it's right behind this. Got it mashup of trees and bushes and there's a mandor to go around the tree to the right. So James here with a tendency to go way right lately. He's using a nuke. Heiser. It's banged up, you don't know where it's going. 
going in the basket. And there it goes up. I like your positive thinking, Jay. He said, do your thing, honey. Yeah. Everybody's distracting Todd just to mess with him. That's a safe throw. A bit short. Heiser time. Uh oh. That's gonna be trouble. It's a mando to the right of the tree. That was left. <laughs> as long as I know my left from right. Well, Mando's right out the tree, right? Eh? Yeah, you gotta come back around it now. Show them how it's done. That's safe. That's past the tree. Bending in. That was, that was good. fantastical. Finding something good here. Oh. Craptastic. Brought a little roller out of the bush. So now. He's approaching with his third shot here. Changing this again. Desperate need of a caddy. And he throws a hyzer. And it lands back there. James with his second shot. Blowing some smoke signals out. Just to warn everybody. Chance to go in the basket? No, a bit short. He's an approach. Brands are furthest off, so he's gonna start. Leaving it short. Finally a par. In hole number eight. Now we walk back here to hole number nine. Give you a bit impression of the course as well. It's pretty open. Like I said before, it's not really It's hole nine. OB right. Good forehand shot, unless you can Anheuser it. Par 3, 90 meters. And Stefan. That's uh, turning and burning. Good luck finding that. La da 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 da. Oh, that's all right. Fairway. Palm to the sky burned. Don't turn and burn in the wind. Tree. Tree love. Good ace, James. Yeah, it was close. <laughs> that was Ben's second shot. Online. Just a smidgen short. Damn, I suck. It's because you're from Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go find my. I'm over here in this crap, I think, to the right. These bushes are craptastic. After Stefan turned and burned, forehand Anheuser. Long second shot. This looks good. Whoa! Right height. Ooh, that could have been better, huh? You're welcome. I'll give you any any help you need. That's what I'm here for. So this is hole number 10. They say it's 87 meters, which could be about right. The difficult thing is this little tree here 
going through this little window and then you have to curve it around because the basket is like in the mirrored S behind the bushes you see there in the in the distance. It's the, it's the hardest hole on the course by the way. The James with his first shot here. He's using the T-Rex which is a good disc to use here. Always stable, trying to go to the right in the end. That's hooking left, it's coming back. But it's in the trees back there, that's not where you want to be. It's a nuke town. <clears throat> Poor nuke. Didn't make it. That little window is tougher than it looks. Fairway. Beautiful. Nice shot. So James with his second shot here. You can see he's clearly in the bushes. He's not quite sure if he's rolling or putting directly. That would be hard to do. He's going around and ends up right next to the basket here. James going for par. Should be a nice little tap in actually. And he nails it. Band putting. I think it's shot three or maybe four. Whoa. It's makeable. Stefan. Gotta say keep it low. Too easy! Woo! He made it exciting. Hole number 11, one of the meanest holes on the course. It's not that long, it's like 70, 75 meters. You have to go through all of these trees here. But if we take a look back at the little map here, you see the out of bounds everywhere around the basket. That would yeah. be interesting. So here comes James with his throw on 11 here. He's trying to forehand it. Gets it around nicely. That's that good. should come back. Go into the basket. Parked. That should be a nice birdie chance. Parked. Some Todd. Different approach here. Going right. Right left. Deal. That's coming back. Fairway. Nice. Also fairway. Should have a nice approach here. And Mr. Burned. Also going backhand. Oh. Skips off Got the tree. tree. Stefan, which line are you taking? Out of I'm the trying to go left. You going same line as I went? Yeah. Left to right. Over the OB. Nice shot. Skip into the middle of the fairway. It was it was yeah. T a, a slight souflaki, but it was okay. A bit too low to go to the basket. <laughs> Burned, shot three. After being in the sticks. Ooh, just a bit long. Stefan steps up to the to the spot. Concentrated, focused. He gets it up in there. Oh! It had a chance. Birdie putt. Extra 
actually quite surprising that nobody went out of bounds, which is not the common case. Yeah, it usually happens, right? Yeah. Especially me. One out of two <laughs> usually goes out of bounds. Here, take that. James trying to finish up his, his birdie here. Marks the disc. Uses his new vibrant putter. We don't want to distract you. Hands up. And it's a nice birdie. So the hole number 12, here we go long again. This is about 108 meter they say. We might add 10, 15 to that. So you see the open field here. You want to stay right going to the tree because the basket's right around the corner back there. Actually I wanted to say left stay left. I don't know my left from right either. It's a mashed potato shot. We'll see about that James. This is going under the tree. That's a nice shot potato. down the line turning left in the end. That's right where you want to be. Boom shakalaka. What kind of disc you got there Stefan? Is that a race? It's my leather champion wraith, 150 grams. It's purdy. Tennessee Titan Blue. It's a good shot. It's under the tree. Boom! It's beautiful. That's gonna be pretty good too. Look at him, get around that curve up there! Whoa! Monsieur Hinze, the box is yours. He's going with the Avenger SS. His favorite disc on long holds. SS stands for super straight, right? Yes. He got it up. Into the tree. White was on his back foot. It's a, it's a tricky tree right there. Tied with the Brunels. Oh, oh, don't, don't take the sissy route. Jump on in there. It's good for your circulation, Todd. Yeah, that's what they say at least. It's not good for the sensation on your skin afterwards. Anheuser. All right, souflaki. Hmm? Sets me up for par. Souflaki. Stefan shot number two. Almost reached the tree. Straight shot at the basket. Beautiful drive. Eagle. A bit left. A nice drive, James, here with his second shot. We're past the tree. It's making us wait. There he goes. There's a chance. It's a bit short. Fans putting for par, I think. Putting for par or what? Party. For band. It's also party. That was his second shot. No, that was his third shot. Okay, yeah, that was his one, two. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was his third shot. So he was putting for birdie. I stand corrected. Oh. For bird. Tap in. Nice birdie, James. Oh, nice birdie, James. Hole number 13. One of my least favorite holes here. 
another tight window going through the tree and bush and you see the basket back there so you actually have to have a really straight shot maybe Anheuser a bit and have it end up to the left James with the first shot here he gets it up it's stuck in a tree actually gets a lucky drop out of, out of the tree That window is smaller than it looks. Oh, too high. Uh oh, that's out of bounds over that way. It did roll. Oh. Oh, I, I think you're OB, Todd. But if I'm touching grass, I'm not, right? If you're, yeah, pretty much. Why don't we walk up here? Pass judgment. I'd say that's out of bounds. Hmm. Look at the glass line all the way up. Man. That, that's, that's gravel. No, look at the path. Look, yeah. look, look at the line of the path. Yeah, you, the you, you were unlucky and hit the widest spot in the path, Todd. Well, that's grass. Thomas. It's not really hit it, touching that grass. This grass is disconnected. Look at this. Look, <laughs> look, it's, it's disconnected grass. No, look at the line of the grass. Look at this. Look at, okay. look at the line. Look yeah. at the line. And look, look at the line. The line. No. Look at the line. And then your disc isn't laying on the line. You, it is too. Look at this. <laughs> it's way on the line. It's past the line. It's way past the line. All right, well, play it from here, bub. Well, I will play it from here, but it's... Well, what you going to do now? The basket is over there somewhere. You can go that way. No way. Throw it, Heiser. Come on, Todd. Study long, study wrong. You guys can go. You don't have to wait for me. I see wheels turning. You only got one option, dude. Go straight down the path. Heiser it around left. That's, that's the only option you got. You're gonna go through that crap. I see this being out of bounds, to be honest with you. Just keep it low and hyzer. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh man. Muggles. Hmm? Muggles. Do it right behind them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you yanked it. And it's not coming back. Now it's OB, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. uh, yeah, that, that's what you should have done. That's what I told you to do. Next time, listen to your caddy. Jim's going for par here. Hole number 13. Let's see if we can move back a bit. See the disc flying. Nice shot. Hole number, hole number 14, 55 meters. Can't see the baskets behind that bush if you look between these two trees there. Best approach is always stable disc, hyzer around. Just right, just under the big branch, big hyzer. Let it go straight. I want to try to cut the corner. No, you gotta go right, swing it. It's a nice hyzer shot, but it's too far to the right. Ooh. We'll have a hard time getting the birdie here. All right, do it right. That's pretty good. If you get a skip, no, grass is too high. Souflaki. You have to get it up a bit more. Oh, Todd yanked it a bit right. 
Lazy Heiser from the TL. You need to take a big overstable disc, dude. Well, I have a big I threw the nuke. Of course, of course I yanked it. Here we are on hole 15. Some graffiti action. This hole's not long, it's 50 meters, but it's an island. It's quite a small island. You got a little window to throw to. You gotta park it by the basket. That might be good. It might be in the basket. Oh! Just a bit far. Pretty good line though. Muggle. Uh, is it gonna make it? Is it gonna make it? No, that's short. It's harder than it looks. Oh, that's gonna be right. Skip. No, stayed on the path. Just turned it off and on. I thought we were supposed to pause it. Oh, I think it's in. I think it's in. Mr. Lamp. Call with his second shot. Keeping that right again. Needs a good skip to get in. Uh, it might be in, but I think it's too short. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we forgot to mention. If you don't make it in in two shots from the tee, then you come up here to the drop zone, and then you throw your fourth shot from the drop zone. Yeah. So what do you say, Todd? You're not in? I'm not in. Stefan's second shot. Where is it? Yep. Might be in the hole. No, it's in. And this is this it, right? It's in. Yeah. It's not parked, both of mine. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, oh. oh, is somebody torturing kids back there? Recess. Don't from the drop zone. It's beautiful. Oh, ooh, uh. it's in. T. Douglas Moore steps up to the drop zone. He surveys the distance. He does the trigonometry. He flicks it up and gets a lucky bounce. A roll of stuffs right inside. Stefan for birdie. For par. Ah, first shot missed, so this is for par. He drained it. I'm tapping in for birdie. Beautiful. To go minus three. Ha ha ha. That was the TU dump shot course. We didn't really play well, but I think. Speak we for yourself! We showed the course. <laughs> <laughs> and see you next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Good round. Bye, Todd. See you soon. Bye, Ben.